We looked at monohybrid crosses and Punnett squares in this video. In this video, we are now going to look at codominance. I'm going to assume you understand the difference between genotype and phenotype. The genotype is a set of genes. The phenotype are the physical characteristics that are coded for the genotype. A monohybrid cross is the study of the inheritance of one characteristic such as the pea pod color. They will either be green or yellow, not a mixture of the two. Only one of the allele is expressed and the yellow allele is dominant. So in the YY genotype, the yellow pod color wins. In codominance, the alleles are both expressed in the same phenotype. So you can end up with a mixture. Neither allele is dominant. This happens with chickens. Neither the black nor the white allele is dominant. So the BW genotype gives a speckled phenotype. Codominance is seen throughout the animal kingdom and in plants and also seen in our blood groups. There are four groups, A, B, AB and O. There are three possible alleles for blood group, but we each only have two of them, one from our mother and one from our father. IA and IB are codominant. IO is recessive to both IA and IB. These genotypes give these phenotypes. So if you inherit IA from your mother and IB from your father, you will be AB blood group. To be blood group O, both your parents must have at least one IO allele. Your parents could be either of these three genotypes. If we look at this in a Punnett square, so let's say the father has IA, IO, and the mother has IB, IO genotypes, then the offspring could be any of these genotypes. Blood group AB, blood group B, blood group A, or blood group O. The offspring has inherited the O allele from each parent. So there we have codominance. Sometimes neither allele takes dominance and so both are expressed in the phenotype as seen with speckled hens, roan horses, and even in our blood group.